Hello everyone and welcome back to another Our Extraordinary Ordinary Life. Today we are going out to Mayday Ice Cream. They make handcrafted ice cream. I went out to the one in River City and I got the privilege of sitting down with Jordan, the store manager, and she's going to tell us all about this wonderful ice cream shop. Um, I absolutely love Mayday Ice Cream and working for Mayday Ice Cream. Um, a few things that are just really, really special to me about the company. and been able to assemble and how we all love each other and work together. Um, I absolutely love the fact that when people come here, they come here to get ice cream and nobody can leave unhappy when they have ice cream. Yeah. So people always leave with a smile on their face. People can be upset or mad or sad, happy, it doesn't matter. I know matter. my daughter fell down going to school today and oh. so I'm going to bring her home a pint of ice cream for her and yeah. so I mean how can she be sad after that? No, of course not. And be sure to get some sprinkles because we house make our sprinkles so it's made from scratch completely and we'll actually put them in a little bag so you can take oh, them great. home and That'd enjoy them great. and find a pint of ice cream and some galettes yeah. too which we also make from scratch. So where did you guys originate from? So we started in St. Augustine. And we actually have a parent company called The Hippo. I've heard of that. The Popsicles? Yes. Yeah, I have not tried those yet. Well, we do have some of the Hippo Pops in there if you wanted to try I'm, them. I might take one home with me. Yeah. Those are like more of the popular flavors, mm -hmm. but we have all sorts of insane flavors. I think pineapple cilantro was like the very first flavor, and it is extremely unique, and it yeah. tells you one of my favorite is a white berry goat cheese pop. That sounds very interesting. It is amazing. It sounds kind of weird and it's like, okay, do I really want to taste this? But yes, you Is it kind of like in a way like a creamsicle in a way I would think because of the, the cheese in it? It's so creamy and like the blackberry is just tart and sweet enough to uh -huh. like complement it really nicely. It's, it's that what they've done with popsicles and then they were like, you know what? We're really good at making popsicles. We should do this with ice cream. Yeah. And thank God they did because the ice cream is so, so good. So doing how many right. locations do you have out here right now? Uh, this was actually the seventh location that we opened up here in River City. Uh, so we have two locations in St. Augustine. Mm -hmm. We have one location in Lakeland. Uh, we've got the, I'm trying to think, so we have Riverside, which is in Brooklyn Station. Then we have San Marco, which is over by V Pizza, which I think everybody knows V Pizza because it's just so darn good. Uh, we have the beaches and that we have here in River City. So that's all of us right now. And hopefully we're looking to open many, many more. We also have like pop trucks and things like that. So you can do like little events and things if you wanted to get a Mayday ice cream truck to come out and scoop ice cream for you. That'd be really cool. Or pass out pops and things like yeah. that. They also do that as well. Very neat. Yeah. Okay, well, great. Thank you so much for yeah. your time. <laughs> of course. So here is a closer look at the inside of the ice cream shop. They have 22 flavors and you can try as many samples as you would like. They range from classical flavors to more exotic flavors. So they're classical flavors such as like a chocolate, seasonal chocolate. They have a sweet lime. And the more exotic ones being like a blackberry or earl gray, a strawberry mint, and of course the one that I ended up getting, which was the passion fruit turmeric. I found this ice cream to be very bright and tart with that little bit of extra spice to the turmeric that they added to it. It was a very refreshing treat on this hot day. So actually back at home now and I got some ice cream to take home. So my children and my wonderful husband cannot join me uh, to go get the ice cream, but of course I didn't want them to feel left out. So I went and got them some ice cream. So the items that I brought home was from their sister company, the Hippo, and they do a lot of these custom fruit popsicles. This one is the strawberry lemonade. And I also got their mango mojito. I got some ice cream to go, their mint monster, mint monster, and I'll go ahead and open it up here so you can see. A little difficult doing this one-handed, so I apologize. There we go. 
Ooh, that looks good. So you can see all those chocolate chunks in there. And then I got some sprinkles. So all their sprinkles are custom made. And my daughter, she had taken a spill on the way to school today on her scooter. So what better way than to treat her with some ice cream to help her feel better after a rotten day at school. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Jordan again. Thank you so much for your time and for the ice cream. And if you want to know more about May Day ice cream, I will leave all of the information in the description below. Was what for? The sprinkles. Yeah. I saw the sprinkles. So this is the ice cream that I picked up for my kids today. It's the monster mint monster ice cream. Ooh, nummy. And they homemade sprinkles. Mmm, nummy. Mm -hmm. Now the cherry on top I had at the house that I added it to though. So, what are our thoughts about maybe ice cream, you guys? Good. Good. I like cherry, it gives it lots and lots of sweet. I tell mommy your battery is low. <laughs> it's okay, baby. <laughs> so the so the cherry made it a little sweet, but what do you think of the actual ice cream? Good. Yeah? yeah. Is it good, Bella? All right. Well, I think that is a success. We will definitely be visiting Mayday Ice Cream again. I will take the whole family with us next time. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! Bye! <laughs>